Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Karcher KB5 sweeper. Now the market for sweepers is actually still fairly big considering the design concept has not really changed for quite a few years of some of these models. Now if you do live in a place where you've got say laminate flooring or tiles and you don't really have a need for a proper vacuum cleaner things like the, the Dyson range or some of the Bosch Athlete range then some of these models can be really good especially if you want to use it as a say a top-up cleaner so really what I want to do is just have a look around it uh, I'll give you some of the specs on it and let's have a look so a little bit about the cleaner itself it has a maximum 30 minute run time and that can vary depending on the surface that you were vacuuming on so if you were going on say a, a light carpet then the time can be reduced slightly but basically the way it works is that to operate it, it doesn't have a switch as such. What happens is when you turn it back, pull the handle back, then it turns on. And then to stop it, as I just showed there, you just put it back upright. So I'll just show you that again. So it's a really simple design, but very effective. So just to show you a couple of dimensions, so the width across here is 23 centimeters, and the overall height of the handle, so from the base to the handle here, is pretty much exactly a meter. And to charge the vacuum, it just comes with a normal plug, and this just plugs in at the back. You've got the socket in there, and then once you plug it in, if it is completely flat, then they normally say around three to four hours for it to fully charge again. So to empty the bin, it's just on the side here, and all you need to do is just pull this out. And it is a really, really simple design. All you need to do is once you've got all the dirt in there, just go and empty it. Um, you can just pop it back in. But the beauty of this, because it is all plastic, then over time it, you might just want to give it a quick wash. And then once you've finished and it's completely dry, you've washed it, then it just slots back inside. So a couple of other things to show you. First of all, for storage purposes, what you can do. So, as I showed you earlier, if you put the handle that way, it turns it on. But what you can do, you can actually turn it that way. So, it's a really nice slim design, and it, it's a very basic feature, but it's actually really well thought out. So, what you can do, is you could have a hook, and then you could just hang it up. The other thing to show you, is just the underneath of the vacuum. So, you've got, so you've got the four rubber wheels, and clearly you've got the brush here. If you want to clean the brush, what you can do is you can actually pull this out the side. So you've got access to the brush just to pull it out. And you can just get in here to clean up any debris that's accumulated. And when you put it in, just make sure you locate it correctly first because that bit can be a little bit fiddly. And then it just pushes back in like that. So very simple design, but very effective. So really one of the last things to show you is on the back here, you have got a light that will illuminate. So when it's in operation, just show you this. So as you can see there, that was green. And what you'll find is when it does need charging, so five minutes before it will go completely flat, it will actually flash red. So again, it's just a, a little thing on there, but it's a good indicator so you know when to put it on charge. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Now the whole concept about sweepers in general are that they're very good for things like laminate floors or tile flooring. What I wouldn't want you to do is to go and buy one of these and to expect it to be really good, and say compared to something like a Dyson V10 on things like really thick pile carpet, because that's not really what they're designed for. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on the Karcher KB5 sweeper. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video. Click subscribe and leave any comments below. Thanks for watching.